Hello, welcome to Tool Tuesday. Uh, this week we're going to keep it kind of simple and we're just going to be working on cleaning up this lowly old little wood handled flat bladed screwdriver. So I can't find a maker's mark on it because it's pretty, pretty cheesy. Uh, but I don't see any remnants of anything in there. But I've been down that road before and something pop up that's real faint in there that you can't see through the rust scale. Uh, it's got paint droplets all over it and rust scale. She's been banged on back here on the hammer, on the handle. And uh, the tip has been chipped off or wore down or whatever. I'm gonna guess it's been chipped off. It's a little crooked. So we're gonna go over it. We're gonna hit it with a wire brush, a uh, wire wheel I mean, and take it from there and reassess it and see what we got. So here we go. Let's get her cleaned up. Okay, so here we go. What a big difference that made. I actually, with all the paint boogers on the handle and everything and the chips and whatnot that, are, that were in there, um, a little thing that I do and have pretty good success with on the uh, wire wheel. I just gently just touch it in there. You got to be real careful um, depending on what the wood is and, and so forth. It doesn't eat it out of there. This is, I'm guessing, some kind of hardwood because it it didn't really do anything to it at all. So, um, but you can see the camera won't pick it up. I'm not going to bother trying. Um, all kinds of marks where they've had some type of vice grip or pliers or something all around this thing where they've had and been in there wrenching on it and whatnot. So that's kind of funny. It's all the way around and all up and down. So I'm going to put that on a belt sander and uh, I think you can see some of the glistening of the facets a little bit. You can see it's kind of chewed up. I'll put it up there and try. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. So I'm going to put it on a belt sander, clean that up real quick, and then uh, reprofile the tip and hit this with uh, probably, I'll put this on the belt sander too because it's pretty pretty chewed up. And then we'll sand this up and get a finish on it and wax him up and call this guy done. So here we go. No maker's mark. So, oh well. finished up put it up here and so you can see it I am really really pleased with that I like all the old like dark spots and whatnot that you can see in there still a few little things here and there on the on the blade you can just see some I, some of that might be casting um, or machine marks from what it was made I'm not really sure but I like there's like some dark spots in the bottom here by the, um, the collar and so forth. Um, did take them sharp edges off. The, the whole thing just feels like silk in your hands. It really, the, um, the treatment I put on there because that wood's so old, I didn't want to just stain it. So I used a mixture of linseed oil and um, like oil-based oil, oil paints, like for 
campus painting, uh, Van Dyke Brown. I put a few drops of that in some linseed oil, mixed it up, and it makes a little bit of a darker finish and um, get some oil in there. And then I sealed it up with the uh, linseed oil beeswax mix that I have. And it's just first wood handle screwdriver I've ever restored or cleaned up. Not really sure, I wouldn't call it a restoration, but uh, super pleased this guy's going back in the house. So, hey, appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. See you next time.